As I looked around at some open data science positions, I think about 99% of them required a working knowledge of SQL. So today I'd like to talk about why SQL plays such an important role in data science and discuss some of its uses. So SQL, or the Structured Query Language, is the set of instructions used to interact with a relational database. Although it's not the only language out there, uh, SQL is the only language that most databases understand. So whenever you interact with such a database, the software basically translates your commands into a SQL statement, and then the database knows how to interpret it. So why is this important? Well, the majority of data stored by organizations is within relational databases, and SQL is the language that you use to pull or query the data from the databases. The role of SQL in data science. So the primary use of SQL is really in the early phase of your data analysis, when you get a data set and start to investigate the data, visualize it, and identify missing values, uh, look at incorrect formatting, etc. SQL allows you to play around with the data set so you can perform all of these actions. SQL is basically just another tool in your data science toolkit, so you need to learn it. Um, generally, if you work in a company that stores its data in SQL relational databases, you use SQL to fetch your data so that you could model it, describe it, visualize it, and so forth. But SQL is primarily a data fetching language. That's what you can think of it as. So older, more established companies actually tend to have uh, SQL databases storing all of their stuff. And if you're working with real data, meaning you're not working with the clean structured data that you normally get during courses or sample projects that you get offline, you know that clean data is not the norm. Usually, before you can begin your data analysis process, you need to go through something called a data munging or wrangling process. And this means that you need to get the data into a format or structure that you can use for your analysis. It is said that data scientists can spend almost 80% of their time on doing just that. So SQL is really here to help with this process. So here's some uh, sample code. So fortunately, basically for those of us who aren't computer programmers yet or don't ever plan to be, SQL commands are not that difficult. They're, they're designed to have a syntax similar to the English language. So they normally begin with a command statement describing the action to take. And it's followed by a clause that describes the target of the command. Now, this could be the specific table within the database affected by the command. And finally, it includes a series of clauses that provide additional instructions. So most of the time, you can read a SQL statement and understand the command it's trying to do. So let's practice with this statement. Delete from students where graduation underscore year equal 2014. So can you guess what the statement will do? This statement means it's going to access the student's table of the database and delete all the records for students who graduated in 2014. See, it wasn't that difficult. So what can you do with SQL? Uh, let's talk about some of the potential uses. And here I've listed out data aggregation, ranking functions, bucketing the data, statistical functions, and windowing functions. So let's just spend a few seconds on each. So data aggregations is, um, the aggregation functions basically are very useful for understanding the data and presenting it in summary. So the widely used aggregate functions are minimum, maximum, average, etc. Ranking functions are useful to rank values in a data set and doing a top N analysis. For example, you can, uh, you can use them to rank customers within a business segment. Bucketing the data. So sometimes we need to bucket the data for producing better predictions or results. For example, we can bucket employees' ages into five or six distinct groups to analyze their common traits across each age group. Statistical functions. So functions like distribution fitting can directly be applied on data by using SQL functions. And lastly, let's talk about windowing functions. These are very useful for any aggregate calculations that involve a range of values or a group of rows. So for example, uh, these functions come in handy in case of operations over 
time series data, which includes calculations over a fixed or variable window time period. So, SQL. Basically, in conclusion, I'd just like to say SQL is a necessary tool for a data scientist. So, invest some time to learn it and practice using it.